Good afternoon, Mr. Attorney General. Uh, you've testified today that you're not going to comment on the jury verdict in a state case. Has that always been your practice as Attorney General? The Justice Department practice is always to, um, to say that we respect the verdict of a jury. That's our practice. Okay, so in 2021, uh, Derek Chauvin was convicted in a Minnesota uh, state court by a jury uh, of several felonies. Did you issue a statement after that verdict? Yes, we always issue a statement after the verdict describing what the verdict was. Now, this is a state case. Did you issue a statement oh. following the state court conviction? I'm sorry, who is the person again? Derek Chauvin. Well, this was also a federal case. Right, but this was well, before the state, the federal case, uh, and we got a verdict from the jury. And you issued a statement. I, I Did you issue a statement, I, yes or no? I don't know the answer to that. But I we have always statement describe, right here. We always describe the verdict. This is a state court decision from a jury, and you said, well, the state's prosecution was successful. I know that nothing can fill the void that the loved ones of George Floyd have felt. You, so you agreed with the decision? It's not a question of agreeing. It's a question of a verdict was a, 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 Heard and okay, the, but you said the prosecution was successful. It was successful because it led to a successful verdict. So yeah. would you say that the prosecution and people be Trump last week was successful? Okay. I, I guess by the definition of when somebody brings a case, if they get the verdict they ask for, it's successful without commenting on any particular case. And you just said successful here. York. You said that in this case, the prosecution was successful. So in a similar vein, would you say the prosecution and people be Trump was successful? I'm going to say again. You're asking me a tautology. When a prosecutor brings a case and the prosecutor wins the case, it is by definition successful. What if the case is later overturned on appeal? Is the prosecution and successful? And we, of course, accept the uh, decision on the appeal, and then it's no longer successful. So a successful prosecution is one where you get a jury verdict, and then it's upheld on appeal. It, yes. You were very quick the day of the jury verdict to say that the prosecution was successful uh, in the Chauvin case. Would you say that by that definition, in, in the same way, the prosecution was successful and people be Trump? I'm not going to comment on that case. You can ask me 10 different ways. Even though you're I'm commenting not... on other state cases. I want to ask you actually about a federal case, an opinion that you wrote in your last year on the D.C. Circuit. It was called FEC v. Craig. Do you remember that case? I don't, but if Involving you're... former Senator Larry Craig? Yes. So Mr. Craig, of course, had gotten himself in trouble for disorderly conduct in an airport uh, bathroom. And he used campaign funds to fight those allegations. And he came into your court and said that it was okay to do so because if he makes the allegations go away, that's going to help his campaign. But you rejected that argument. You ruled that he should have used personal funds because the underlying conduct was personal in nature. Doesn't that, that rule of law that you articulated uh, expressly contradict the theory of the case in People v. Trump? And again, ask me 12 times, if you want, about to comment on that case, and I'm not going to. I have your opinion right here. It's a very uh, well-written opinion. I'm sorry. That case is an interpretation of the Federal Elections Commission Act. That's all we did in that case. Right, and you're well aware that an interpretation of a Federal Elections Commission Act was uh, at the core of the prosecution's theory of the case last week. I think the reason that you are so reticent about commenting here, Mr. Attorney General, even though you had a, a press release the very day of uh, the verdict in past cases, is because you know your own very well-written opinion clearly shows that there was reversible error in this case. You testified earlier that you have not made any... I appreciate any... the compliment about my case, but it has nothing to do with... You testified with earlier that you have never made uh, political contributions. Is that correct? Well, I was a judge. I did not make... How about before you were a judge? I'm sorry? Before you were a judge? I think maybe 40 years ago I made a political contribution. To whom? Well, uh, I, I, it's public knowledge I made a, a, a contribution to the Mondale campaign. Okay, and if Mr. Mondale had come before you as a party, uh, would you have recused yourself or would you have heard the case? And I know now that for the 14th time you're ask, trying to ask me a case. No, I'm not. I'm asking you about your own campaign. No, you're, no, Mondale. you're not. You're asking me to comment on the judge in the case uh, under a different jurisdiction. No, I'm not. I'm asking world. you about your own political contribution that you just said you made. If Mr. Mondale, who you donated to, had come before you as a party, would you have recused yourself, yes or no? If 20, 10 years later, when I, or 20 years later, when I became a judge, uh, it would have not made any difference. Judges put aside their political views, uh, their personal views. Every justice of the Supreme Court has testified. Mr. Garland, you testified that you don't regret picking Jack Smith. Do you regret picking uh, Robert Hur as a special counsel? I don't regret. No. And you testified that he has a long and distinguished career as a prosecutor. Rather, you said that when you appointed him. Do you stand by that? It's a fact. 
and you, and you do not uh, dispute his conclusion that President Biden willfully retained classified information. Is that correct? Well, that wasn't his conclusion. He said there was evidence, but that the evidence did not warrant going forward. I yield back. Chair recognizes the gentlelady from Missouri for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, 